Many of you guys have written in asking me, you said, Dr. Jen, why does my arm hurt when I check my blood pressure at home? It squeezes it so tight, it hurts. Tell me why, you've asked. We're going to talk about that today. I'm going to give you three reasons you want to watch to the end because the last reason is probably the most important reason. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, <laughs> on-air health expert and video creator. All right, first of all, when you're using your home blood pressure cuff, and of course I wouldn't be sitting like this and doing it, remember that the cuff has to inflate. It squeezes one of the arteries and cuts off the blood flow temporarily. So I'm saying this to let you guys know that you're going to experience a little bit of discomfort because honestly the cuff is going to squeeze you enough to sort of temporarily cut off the blood flow in this artery. Of course it goes back um, once the, the, the cuff is deflated. So just sort of keep that in mind. Um, but three reasons why your arm hurts a lot when you are doing your blood pressure cuff. Uh, first one is that maybe you don't have this on correctly. Remember, there are instructions for how to put on your blood pressure cuff properly, okay? You want to make sure you're following these instructions and also reading the instructions that come with it in the box. Like there's a metal band here. If this is a squeezing into the skin, by the way, that can cause some discomfort. If it's not positioned correctly or you're not using the cuff correctly, it's going to hurt perhaps. So that's one reason. Another reason why your arm may hurt um, after checking your blood pressure is if you've been checking your blood pressure repeatedly. Now, we definitely want more than one reading, okay? And there are instructions in the packet uh, of your blood pressure cuff on how to do this. But if you're doing your blood pressure over and over and over and over and over again, it might just be sore and hurt afterwards, okay? So you don't really want to uh, get to that point. Very important. The last thing, and guys, this thing, this is what I was telling you I wanted you to watch to the end for. Probably the most important thing is... Um, this one, which is the size of the cuff. The size of the cuff matters. It matters so much. I did a video specifically on how to tell if your blood pressure cuff is too small, meaning there are different size blood pressure cuffs. Um, they come in different circumferences, meaning the, the sort of the, the distance around your arm. If you have a large arm and you use a cuff um, that is much too small for you, it's going to hurt when you blow this up. And you also want the right size cuff because whether the cuff is too small or too big, um, it's probably going to misread your blood pressure because it's not the right size. I'll make sure I put the, um, the link to that video in the description of this video. If you don't see it, guys, just write me asking me for that video. You, and I, literally, I go through how to measure your arm and figure out which size, bless, which size blood pressure cuff you need to get. This is probably one of the biggest reasons why people, um, it really sort of hurts their arm, okay, when they are using their blood pressure cuff as well. So keep that in mind. So guys, these are a few reasons why your arm may hurt after uh, taking your blood pressure. Again, we don't want it to be uh, super painful. That's not what we want. Um, yes, a little bit of discomfort that's temporary is probably normal, but painful is not. You want to check with your doctor, make sure you're reading the instructions. Let me know what you do at home. Let me know if it's been painful or difficult for you. Please like and follow my page on Facebook if you've not already. For those of you who's in stars, I respond to you personally. Thank you so much. Consider joining my subscription groups and on YouTube. Subscribe to my channel, click the little bell for updates. And guys, make sure you go to my website, drjencaudle.com.